we go to the second topic now with our guest, Bogostav Sianek. Um, he's the author of the book, which is about the introduction to programming with C++ for engineers. And so let's have a general quick talk about um, why did you write this book and what does it cover? Okay. Thank you, Jens, for inviting me. Hello, everybody. Yeah, you're supposed to see a couple of uh, web pages starting from my university. So I work at this university, AGH, uh, University of Krakow. We, we, we have just changed the name <laughs> to University of Krakow. It was University of Science and Technology. Before that, it was Metallurgy, and etc. So uh, I, I teach for a couple of, of years, let's say 20 years, uh, C++, but back years I was teaching C, then C++ for students of electronics, embedded systems, but I have students from different um, faculties, directions. So uh, we always were looking for some materials to, to teach. And at the same time, uh, the, the C++ standard was was extending so much that uh, teaching uh, with uh, limited time, let's say semester, so you have something like 15 meetings uh, per semester is uh, quite a challenge. And uh, also a challenge to, to, to teach people in so short time and uh, from different faculties. So, you know, electronics need, need some uh, lower level from computer science, they, they need something else, etc. So I was uh, gathering material for years um, and I was also uh, consulting and working with companies on, on large uh, uh, projects. So, so I, I gathered enough examples and also uh, if, if you are not teaching but, but working in a team, you, you, you find yourself quite frequently in a position that you are team leader. So you, you also need to teach and, and, and or show some directions or uh, what, some, some code styles, etc. So uh, when, when we go to, to my web page and when we click on the book, actually the book uh, won this uh, 2021 Wiley ITPO uh, E-Press professional book award uh, so so you can, you can find a lot of good things here uh, you can you can well the, the, the book can be uh, is available from Amazon from Wiley so you you can quite easily Google up uh, if you wish to buy a book but the code is for free and you can you can take a look uh, what is inside. So there are different projects and what is unique uh, about this book, all, all these projects are taken from some more serious stuff, uh, things we, we teach for students, some, some more elaborated projects. So uh, they, they, they make a kind of a, a code snippets that can be used by, by learners in their own projects. So this is the, the idea. Uh, if you uh, okay, if you go, um, yeah, uh, if you go, you can find also additional materials. So uh, <laughs> thank you to, to, to Jens. I, I, I was uh, giving lectures a couple of times also in Berlin, and uh, he also invited me for, for this, this year talk. So I, I'm preparing myself and I'm quite happy to, to meet with you. But uh, last uh, last time when I was uh, I was talking about C++ uh, uh, teaching C++. So if you wish to to see my ideas, uh, because I, I will try to be sh short today as, as as possible. You you, you don't have much time <laughs> to to go through the book. But if you wish to see more than a book, just just some methodology of, of teaching. Please uh, Google up my, my, my talk from uh, last year, uh, talk in, during meeting C++ 2023 uh, in Berlin. And I was just, just talking about our methodology, um, examples, what is important, what is less important, how to work with uh, 
different people, things like this. Actually, it was one of the most difficult lectures I had to prepare. Uh, it is much easier to take some some technical stuff, some some bits, and show something working or code. But talking about such a uh, complicated thing like like arranging classes and giving some ad general advice is is quite a challenge. So you you can Google up this. Uh, let, let's go to the book. Uh, if you take a look here, this is this is how how the book looks like. Uh, the cover, uh, and then when we go um, to the table of contents, uh, as I mentioned, is uh, introduction, but but uh, quite uh, fast uh, to make and quite fast entry to modern C++. So uh, when writing this book, it was not to what to put in. Uh, the question was rather what <laughs> what to uh, avoid, what to put later or. So, for example, as I mentioned, back years I was teaching C and C++. Now it's vice versa. I teach C++, and if someone needs C, like students of electronics, because they use operating systems, embedded systems, they need some C. So C is covered in appendix of, of, of this book. And the, the, the book is uh, about uh, seven 700 pages which is not that much for for almost everything i mean with uh, for, for um, uh, aim at, at three semesters of, of teaching so uh, i will not go with this details you can find this also in my talk but when we go to a couple of uh, initial pages there is a drawing oh here so Actually, the book is is aimed at, at three semesters. So semester one is is you can cover this in uh, with chapter two and three, then second semester chapter four or five, and the next semester you have advanced object oriented programming, computer arithmetics, uh, which sometimes is taught at the beginning. But in my opinion, it is there is no time, and this the, this can be postponed for for people who need it, but. You can always jump to some some arithmetics or some some other things from 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 uh, other semesters, and at the end of of the book that the the big chapter is basics of parallel programming, but instead of uh, teaching threads, which which is a little bit of threads, but we move to tasks rather to threads, and I am teaching OpenMP. If you are familiar with this platform. Uh, you you probably you, you like it uh, or you acknowledge that this this is uh, taking you a little bit faster to the domain of parallel processing uh, than just going with threads, uh, which I I think is is more advanced programming. So uh, so this this is this is my approach. Uh, okay, and just just to end with something to to show you something interesting maybe. Let's go to, um, for example, how, how the book is organized. As I mentioned, there are a, a lot of t tables like this. So, for example, this is a, a large table containing all the operators. Is uh, starting here, but look at this. You, you have you have couple of, of, of colors. You have you have uh, operators uh, arranged in in groups. And also examples. So the idea is, if someone is is uh, is learning, uh, he or she doesn't know to where to go and doesn't need to, to to read too much. Just just take the the table and 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 grasp a couple of examples and apply them with with short description. So this is quite quite huge table because we have a lot of operators in in C plus plus. But you, you see, they are also grouped in, in arithmetic, uh, and also uh, it is uh, with some examples um, and description and some drawings. So, so all the book is organized like like, like this, uh, with a lot of uh, uh, diagrams, uh, figures, uh, and 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 many. Many things which which are supposed to uh, to to make uh, reading uh, more pleasant and 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 teaching faster. <laughs>
Okay, I I think that's that's all. Uh, maybe not not to take too 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 many minutes. Uh, okay. If you are interested, you can you can uh, you can uh, uh, email me. You can you can Google. Uh, maybe I will put the address of my web page in the chat. So maybe I don't know if you will yeah. see it. Yeah. And I can give you also the link to my. Uh, GitHub, and the last is just uh, also to advert meetings C++ in Berlin. So here is this uh, my talk uh, on, on the meeting last year. Uh, it is about teaching, and there is also some information about the semester how we organize uh, semesters at, at our university. So you can benefit from this, either if you have a teacher or as I mentioned, maybe you have uh, some junior software uh, colleagues and you need to, to, to show them some, some material. Uh, just the last uh, information is the book is uh, ending uh, on um, C++ 17 standard. Uh, so I don't go. Uh, I, I mentioned ranges, for example, but but uh, I, I don't show them. But I'm also working on the second volume, let's say, uh, in which I include uh, coroutines, ranges, modules, all this modern stuff. Maybe some some parts about uh, more in-depth parallel programming as well. So uh, <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> okay, thank you very much.